Hello and welcome to Creating Sheets with ID8 BIMLINK for Revit. This is Glynis Patterson and thanks for joining me. Creating Sheets with ID8 BIMLINK can be done in four easy steps. First, we'll create an Excel file with the relevant sheet properties. Next, we'll make sure that the word new is in the ID column for each new sheet. Then, we'll optionally assign a title block family or if we want to create placeholder sheets, we'll skip that step. And lastly, we'll save and import the Excel data via ID8 BIM link back into Revit. Let's see how. The first step in creating new sheets is to set up an Excel file with the proper column headers. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to use the new button here and browse the libraries underneath our Create Elements folder as shown here. When you use this particular link, um, it's been designed to basically create that kind of Excel template. And you'll see here there's no rows showing, even though I'm in a project. And the reason for that is because any existing sheets being filtered out. So if I export now, it will be a, a blank set of values. Uh, or if I prefer to actually see the existing sheets for some reason, I just need to remove that filter. You can also add your own custom parameters. So for example, I'm interested in managing the value of the sheet type property as well when I create my new sheets. After you create the properties that you need, you're going to go ahead and export that. And then you can see here, I've got the, the data from my existing project. Over here, I have a a file that I'm going to be copying from. Uh, and the next step is to, in the ID column for any new sheet you want to create, you want to put the word new. Uh, and you can, you can type directly in this, uh, or if you have another file, as I do here, I'm going to actually just grab all these and do a copy-paste. So I'll come over here and do a paste. I need to actually do a paste values because I'm using some formulas over here. So for each new sheet, I'll drag down and create new. And uh, I want definitely want all of these to be part of the sheet index, sheet list. And then lastly, I want, might want to specify which ones are part of each of these sort of project browser organizations. I can also fill out the title block value here. If I don't, if I leave it blank, uh, then what will happen is we'll get placeholder sheets. So I'll go ahead and save this and we'll, we'll take a look at that. So when I do this without the title blocks, you'll see here, I can import and close, and you'll notice that none of them show up here. You can access them then here by creating a new sheet, and you'll see all the placeholders here. So that's one thing you can do. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that, and we'll go ahead and, let's go ahead and update that file. I'm gonna actually specify this particular title block, so I'm just gonna come here, paste it, save again. You'll notice I can leave the Excel file open if I want. And then I'll import. Again, this time I'm specifying the title block. This data sort of looks the same here. I'll go ahead and import. The difference is that um, now they're showing up here. And you'll also notice that they're organized according to my custom parameter. So it's very easy to quickly create these sheets from an Excel file. Uh, you can also export the sheets from one project and import them into another very quickly uh, to help you get on your way. In addition to creating new sheets and placeholder sheets, ID8 BIMLINK can also be used to create levels, viewports, and plan views, rooms, faces, areas, schedule keys, revision sequences, new family types, as well as generic model and other custom families. All of these supported creation tasks can be found in the Create Elements folder of your library. Learn more about ID8 BIMLINK and our other Revit solutions at ID8Software.com. Thanks for watching.